Hey guys, Julia Marie B here. It is the moment you have all been waiting for. It is the top not tutorial. I get asked daily how I do my top knot. I have been stopped in a store by just a random stranger and she wanted a full out tutorial right then and there. Like she was pressed and she was not gonna let me go until I told her step by step how to do my hair. She was real aggressive. Like I was a little nervous because at first I was like, oh, it's just real easy. You just do this. And she was like, no. <laughs> and I got a little nervous because I was like, she might track me down until I tell her. So like, let me tell her how to do it. Um, I had a NARS event um, last night and one of the makeup artists, uh, Stace Face um, on the gram, um, she asked how I did my top knot. So I did like a full fledged, like step by step and told her how I do it. And I could have swore almost every single person was watching and listening as I was telling her. Maybe that was in my mind, but I felt, I felt the eyes. <laughs> um, so I'm finally doing the top knot tutorial here on my YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to wait till I had a better camera and I like just better video quality and I, I decided yesterday after the NARS event, I was like, you know what, YOLO, we still YOLO over here, I don't really care, we still YOLO. YOLO, I'm gonna go ahead and do it, I'll share it and we can upgrade to a better quality video later in the game and then as my hair gets longer or shorter or whatever, we can just update it that way. <laughs> but before we get started, um, I'm wearing the two inch Lauren monogram on a 16 inch chain and this is from my shop, shopjuliamarie.com. I'm going to put a link to this below. I have to shamelessly plug myself because mama needs a roof over her head, okay? Support your girl. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into the top notch tutorial. Yay! Okay, so our very first step, so to speak, is our base. So I'm legit on like fifth day hair. There's tons of, and I've been doing a top knot for the past few days, so there's tons of dry shampoo already in my hair. There's tons of hairspray already in my hair. And a precaution that I do, or like, what do you do? A prep that I do? If I know I'm doing a top knot, or if I'm doing like a top knot all week, when I sleep, I'll put my hair up just like really loosely, and I'll wrap it around and just put a scrunchie over it. It doesn't look pretty, but it creates, it keeps the texture and the volume in my, in my hair. Um, which helps <clears throat> to put the top knot, or it helps like just the volume so that I can get it voluminous and beautiful. So I'm gonna show you all the products that we're going to use or that I've used this time around before we get started. If I just wash my hair and I know that I want to do a top knot, I always dry my hair or put this in my hair before I dry it. Um, just to thicken it because my hair is so soft and baby fine. This is just like a thickening gel um, from Bedhead. I don't, I think this was like $10, but I love it. I've had this for quite some time. Um, and this is like my secret weapon to help me thicken my hair. Um, dry shampoo. <laughs> you have to have dry shampoo. I'm actually working on a top five drugstore dry shampoo video. Um, this will be in there. It is not the top. Everyone will be very, very shocked and surprised to learn what my number one dry shampoo is. Like I always get, oh, really? When I tell them yes, really? And I'll share it with you guys um, probably before the year ends, that um, tutorial. And then the only hairspray that I use because it's the only one that works for me, even though people have made fun of me for using it, boom, got to be glued blasting freeze spray. This is like the only thing that gets my hair to stay and this is what I put in my hair <clears throat> for my top knot. And then you need a soft bristled brush. This one looks a little rough. That is all dry shampoo. And then a scrunchie. I use a scrunchie. I used to use just a, a basic ponytail holder but now I use a scrunchie. And then bobby pins. Can you see the bobby pins? Bobby pins. So my first step is I take my hairspray. I'm gonna flip my head over and we're gonna spray my hair with the hairspray. I'll time lapse it a bit. <laughs> like let it over sorry if you didn't see that and then I realized I had candles in the background and I was spraying hairspray so I didn't want to catch the place on fire so I tilted away so I look a little like um like a Dr. Seuss movie I do not I feel like I need a little bit more though I do not brush it out because that is going to like slim your hair out and that's not a good look um so next we just brush it up we take our soft bristle brush 
it's so challenging because there's so much product in my hair and I just brush it up. This can take quite some time, so we'll time lapse this for you guys. This high profile caught you shopping on Canal. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. It seems phony as your style. Your hair and your nails just as phony as your smile. Fake eyelashes, you drew your eyebrows. And make a brother ass, do you pride yourself? You make up like a mask, trying to hide yourself. It seems on the outside, you thinking you the shit. But it's a soul that's inside that you ain't even knew exists. So you. I swear the brushing is the most challenging part because you're trying to smooth everything out. <sighs> so that's the most time consuming part. And then you get your scrunchie. And just wrap it around. I just do twice. I don't like my hair to be tight um, because there's usually so much product in it. I may need to tilt the camera so you can actually see my hair. Um, I, don't, I don't need to tighten that tight. My top knot is not determined by my scrunchie. I currently am using a velvet scrunchie. So two things about the velvet. The velvet is a thicker fabric, so it's gonna add more volume. And because of the material, the texture of the material, your hair is more likely to stick to the velvet. Now, if you used a satin or a twill scrunchie or a hair tie, whatever you're using, your hair may slip off of it. So I just use it for added volume and just to secure the hair, to assist securing the hair in place. So now our second, I don't know what step we're on, third or fourth. So I take um, a small piece of hair. I can't see my hair that well in the camera. Um, I take a small piece of hair and then take it around the bottom or underneath, I should say, and then space it out. This doesn't matter as much. This is just for added volume and um, to cover the scrunchie. So it will add volume to your top knot as well as um, uh, hide the scrunchie. And then the second, the last and final step, just really literally just swoop it around and just like kind of like even it out as I'm swooping it around and then just tuck it under. I'm gonna have to check with my mirror to make sure I'm secured in the joint in the jam. One second. Yeah, it's pretty solid. This is real good considering I uh, can't barely see my hair because my hair is so dark. So there it is. And I didn't even put any bo oh, bo safety pins. I didn't put any safety pins in my hair. Um, bobby pins and I just secure it with bobby pins. I'm on fifth day hair, so I, it's not gonna move but um <laughs> I'm washing my hair after this y'all promise. I might not maybe tonight <laughs> And then you just put your bobby pins in wherever you feel it's loose if your hair is really clean You're on first day second day hair. You're gonna have way more flyaways So you will definitely need the bobby pins to secure them in there and then I don't need any more hairspray, but um, if I'm on first or second day hair, or you, maybe your hair's a little softer, you can go ahead and spray it. I don't wanna catch the place on the fire. Okay, let's just pretend I just sprayed it real good. I don't, I, look, what if I catch a fire, y'all? Like, that would be tragic. Um, and then I do, like, even if I'm on like third or fourth day hair and my top knot's already good I, and I'm changing clothes a lot, I'll spray it some more. It doesn't really help because this is what gets the flyaways. But anyways, whew. So that is how I do my top knot. I hope it, you think it looks beautiful. Um, <laughs> that is my super easy um, top knot tutorial, my signature hairstyle, literally do my hair like this a few days a week. If you liked this video, there will not be more. I may upgrade it to a better quality video, but I don't know how to do my hair. This is kind of it. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment. Do you want to comment? You don't have to comment. If you like this video and you really enjoyed learning how to do my signature top knot please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe thanks guys so much come back soon